obviously the the uh, the judging that has occurred um, or what appears to be some of those inconsistent results that um, <coughs> that have happened recently in some of these fights uh, the most recent one I guess with that uh, Leonard Garcia fight um, is there what what is the commission doing uh, I know that judging is very subjective. Right, sure. <coughs> Especially in MMA. Yeah. Five, five minute rounds. Is there is there a way to do you guys do you guys do you see are you guys addressing are you guys trying to develop something to where there could be some standardization or some training for these judges f as a standard of evaluation? Um, how do, how do you think you can maybe rein in some consistency with that? We already have that. I mean, it, we, this isn't new to us. We've been doing this for years. And I was telling someone earlier today, and I still get people. I still see people complain about Couture. His 01. It wasn't even in Nevada, but it was years and years ago, 2000, I think. So yeah, 2000, 2001. So I mean, that's still one people throw out there. So I, I don't think it's anything new. Uh, I'd be surprised if we if we went a year without somebody or a month even without someone somewhere complaining about a decision it's somewhere because it is so subjective as you point out you know every fight card there's somebody you, you jump on these internet message boards after a big fight card and there's somebody legitimately in his in his mind or her mind putting a message that so and so got robbed and I've never seen a thread where someone says so and so got robbed and, and they're being honest they truly believe it and they explain why that somebody else has to come on and say, no, 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 the guy did enough in the first two rounds. It just happened with the WC card the other day uh, with Kamal, I think, was his, his fight where right. you know, he did, the first, did enough to win the first two rounds, but someone's saying, no, the other guy won the second and third rounds. This was a robbery, and a lot of people say, no, 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 he won the first two rounds. Or, you know, the second round could have went either way, so you can't say, you know. And it happened with Machida and, and Shogun. Mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me, well, that too, but Machida and uh, Rampage uh, more recently where the bang guy had that first round, depending it. So is it hard to say? You know, even Dana had to come out and say it wasn't a robbery, guys. Even if you think Machida won the fight, it wasn't a robbery. And, and I don't know if any fight that I know of, actually this is the first fight this year in Nevada, that's the only fight in 2010 that there was really an uproar about. And I understand why there was an uproar on that fight. But there still was a lot of people who came out in, in the week after who said, the first and third round were really close. You could, if you gave those both to Garcia, he won the fight. You know, Kevin Ioli just did an article for Yahoo Sports right. on it. Jason Probst did that for Sure Dog. Adam Hill, at the a Review Journal here in Las Vegas. Uh, John Morgan at MMA Junkie. So a lot of these guys who follow the sport, who know the sport, they're saying, you know what? Actually, that's just the nature of the sport. If the first and third, third round you gave to Garcia, the, the second round definitely was not 10-8. So he would have won the fight. You know, I disagree with that, but but that's my subjective view of it. So. Um, it makes me feel good in some senses that uh, 99 out of 100 times and maybe 100 out of 100 times when someone's complaining about a decision, there's somebody, there's many people on the other side saying, no, no, either either the right guy, the, that was the right decision, or even if I disagree with it, it was close enough you couldn't win either. Right. And that makes me feel good about the matchmaking and the athletes that they're able to adjust as well. So I don't think, uh, just because there's more people on message boards, there's more people who have their own blogs, and they get, they, 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 the nature of having a blog or going to the message board is the more negative you get, the more hits you get. And you see people complain about decisions. And an example I give, there was a, a, a guy who I have great respect for, a very good boxing journalist, after the Baldinier Mayweather fight a couple years back, years back, where Floyd basically won 10 or 11 rounds, I think you can even argue he won all 12 rounds, he did an article on his website saying that the judges, what's wrong with them, what's wrong with HBO, what's wrong with all these other reporters saying that Floyd won the fight, Baldinier clearly won that fight. I think he's the only guy, that's the only time where I ever saw that much, I think it's one against millions. <laughs> and I called him and I said, you know, you know, I said, uh, I thought it was a joke. I thought your, your article was a joke, but I realized it wasn't. He goes, absolutely not. He goes, not. Baltimore won the fight. Here's why he won the fight and all this. And I know I'm the only guy I've talked to that, that believes that, but I believe it. Here's why. And he has a website saying, you know, on his website, he's saying these judges are horrible judges and they got it wrong, you know. And, and so, so even when you get a fight where a guy... A guy won 12 rounds out of, or 11 out of 12 rounds, and you and you had you gave him 11 out of 12 rounds. There might be somebody out there saying you're an idiot and you know what you're doing. So that, that that's not an excuse though not to review your work. Sure, and that's what's important. And in this fight specifically, afterwards, I asked the two judges why did you give it the way you did. They explained why they did. It made sense from a criteria standpoint. I, I don't think the uh, the punches from Garcia were hard enough to give him the round. 
or the activity from Garcia was hard enough around, but I know Kevin Early gave that round to Garcia. Other people, John Morgan gave the round to Garcia for those same exact reasons. So it makes me feel good that even if I don't agree with the score, I do agree with the reason for the score. Right. And sometimes it's hard to know, hey, is that, is that one punch from one guy worth five from the other guy because it was, it was, it was so much harder than the, the other one, or it showed better technique or something like that. So, um, but that being said, no, judges, I've had judges who weren't able to explain their scores, uh, or it was, uh, the criteria just wasn't there. They were giving too much criteria to the ground or too much criteria to the punching. Um, I think a lot of judges give too much criteria to the takedowns, uh, but you got to give something. You take a guy down, you put him on his butt there, it's, uh, it's a pretty big, uh, a big deal, but you got to, of course, the, the harder the takedown, the more you want to score it. Just like the more damage you do on a submission attempt, the more you want to give it credit as well. So. It's tough. It's, I would never want to be a judge. It's, it's a, t a tough score. People don't realize how tough it is. They do it in the comfort of their own home, or they do it in the stands with their buddies sitting next to them. What's the big deal? You write down a 10, you write down a 9. But when you know the whole world is going to see your score, and they're going to call you names, and they're going to write bad things about you, you got to be ready for that. And yeah. these I'm actually surprised. There we go. Uh, referees. Big John is now licensed again in uh, Nevada? No. Oh, he's still not? No, he didn't okay. apply this year. Okay.